an engineer in his 3D printed car, a 16 year old scientific genius, the gorgeous new Chromebook Pixel, and a special birthday. It's March 8th, I'm Daria, and this is the Redhead Geek Show. Happy birthday to the Raspberry Pi. Technically, it was February 29th, but here's how great they've been doing. The masters who built the Raspberry Pi knew they were doing something amazing, but had no idea how successful they were gonna be. It's been one year since they launched the model, and over a million devices have been sold. Not to mention the countless do-it-yourself and programming projects conquered. Writer Liz Upton stated they never thought they would find themselves in the position they are in today. In fact, to celebrate the first anniversary, the foundation will release a limited edition of the Blue Pi model. Something really handsome about the Blue, eh? The availability is limited to only a thousand, and not only that, but you won't be able to buy these pies. No, God, please, no, no! The majority of them are going to be donated to charities for children's educational purposes. Hands-on learning for children interested in technology is a lot more educational than just playing with iPads or tablets. The remaining models are being held back as competition prizes. Visit the Raspberry Pi Foundation website for more info on how to win this blueberry pie. An engineer named Jim Core has big ideas for a 3D printed car, the Irby 2, a car strong as steel and half the weight of the standard vehicle. Have you ever seen an assembly line factory? Well, the 3D printed car warehouse will not be made of robotic arms spewing sparks and welding heavy steel. Instead, it will contain plastic spring printers producing these light and highly efficient cars. This could revolutionize the way parts are manufactured. Core says the thesis we are following is to take small parts from a big car and make them single large pieces. This will of course increase miles per gallon on a tremendous scale. So what does this thing look like and how is it going to hit the road in the near future? Well, Core and his team built a three-wheel, two-passenger vehicle with a 3D printer spraying molten polymer to build the chassis, layer by microscopic layer, until it completes itself. The car is said to be about 1,200 pounds, run on both diesel and electric power, be as safe as a race car on a track, and no matter what, the bumpers will be just as strong as their sheet metal equivalents. I can't wait to hear about 4D printing. Wait, did this redhead just say 4D? Yes, she did. If you are just getting your head wrapped around 3D printing, get ready because MIT scientists are already working on the upgrade. What will it do? It allows objects to self-assemble. It could be used to install objects in hard to reach places such as underground water pipes or in assembling furniture. I'm lazy and I love this idea. Hey you, Ikea, guess what? I don't need your manual. My new decor is going to assemble itself. Boy Wonder, Jack Andraka, is a 16-year-old who recently gathered a team of young scientists on creating a Star Trek-like cancer sensor. This group of kids, who call themselves Generation Z, are working on a small device that can diagnose disease just by scanning your skin. According to Andraka himself, this can diagnose any disease instantly. A year ago, he won the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair for an almost 100% accurate paper sensor that detects pancreatic cancer better than anything else. It is 400 times more sensitive, 168 times faster, and 26,000 times less expensive than current methods. The coolest part is the kids are working without help from any PhD scientists. Each member works on a different part of the tricorder. Andraka in particular is working on something the size of a sugar cube, which can look into your bloodstream, see every single protein in your blood, and diagnose diseases based on that. Another is working on a flash drive sized ultrasound machine, and yet another has an MRI test on the way. Go team go! Lastly, I can't help but chat about the new Chromebook Pixel, by far the fanciest Google Chromebook to date. Specs are impressive all around each angle of this thing. The most impressive might sure as heck be the screen resolution. At 2560 by 1700, just under 13 inches, and a density of 239 pixels per inch. That's the highest of any laptop ever, yo. What? 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 Even the MacBook Pro with Retina. Oh yeah, the display is touchscreen too. The screen is tall rather than wide, with an aspect ratio of 3 to 2 despite the standard aspect ratio, which has been the opposite in recent years. 
The body is incredibly rigid, impressive for a machine as thin and light as this. Its system packs an Intel Core i5 processor, which Google says allows smooth scrolling while using the glass touchpad. Two versions of the Pixel exist, the Wi-Fi only model with 32 gigs of storage and the Verizon LTW with 64 gigs of storage. This here bad boy is the latter of the two. Heads up, because we will be airing a full review of the Chromebook very soon. Speaking of, I'm calling it a day. Like and subscribe, everybody. I will see you all very soon.